Now here we are. <laughs> now, what's your name? Carol. Now Carol has just walked in, visiting from England. And where do you live in England, Carol? I live in Surrey. Just Surrey. Oh, oh Surrey. Okay. That's the oh, oh, it's Post. Oh, oh Post <laughs> right, down in Post. Surrey. <laughs> we're we're doing a little. Uh, you're going to be on national television, everything shortly. <laughs> through what this what this is all going I as a young lad I couldn't handle the class distinction in England and I, and that was my mother's a ladies hair a hairdresser and my father was a butcher at the co-op and that was my station in life I thought no I want to get I'm more ambitious I want something better than that and he, anyway I mean I could talk for a thousand years but I won't I've got to condense this <laughs> um, and so I I found I um, I did an apprenticeship as a ladies hair just got a job on board a luxury liner Travel the world doing this job and meeting and came to Australia many times, fell in love with it more and more and more. That's where I want to go. So that's what I did. And I wanted to go to Tasmania and you needed to have a sponsor and 500 quid. And so I got a sponsor and I had my 500 quid and went there, immigrated on December the 4th, 1964. And I did my thing, lots of things. I opened up a hairdressing salon called Michael of London and did many, many things, property development, building and yeah, lots and lots of things. Well, I met my wife, met Ella in 1980. We got married in, in 81. Mm -hmm. She's an Australian girl yeah. who is of Russian, your parents are Russian background. They migrated in after the war. So we're, we're all migrants, aren't we, from somewhere generally, you know, well, we all are. We decided that we needed a bit of a sea change and everything. <coughs> Pardon me, in um, 1992. We came to Queensland in 1992. There was abundance of fruit trees and fruit growing uh, on, in, in, on, a, on a very rundown orchard here on and the property. This is the property you're on today? Correct, yeah. The original one? Yes, the, yes. And, and there's a limit to how many jams and sauces you can make. When we didn't want to spray either. Yeah. And the big supermarkets, Coles and Woolies, and well in England, Sainsbury's and they need it perfect. They don't give mm -hmm. a so and so what it tastes like. They just have to have to have the perfect, perfect looking thing. Mm -hmm. And these had tits and bumps and lumps and everything else on it. And so we thought, oh, I'll blow this. And then in '93, she said, I wouldn't mind making some schnapps and liqueurs. Well, we've never done this before. I don't really like alcohol much. And so I said, we won't do it illegally. We'll get licenses, which we did. The government tried to talk to us, but we got all these licenses. And then we taught ourselves how to do it and built a distillery, the building, which you see over there. And in 98, we spent all this money. And I said, Arlo, this little hobby's got to earn some money. So on the 1st of July, 1998, we opened to the public. We had six products. And I think we sold 10 bottles first week because we're off the beaten track, as right. you can see. Yes, yeah. Anyway, now, bringing it fast forwarding again, we now have 201 international awards. We're the most awarded distillery and liquor brand in, in Australia, Australia right? in yeah. the new millennium, mm -hmm. like by a long shot. And we've got 81 different products. So that's our little story of, of what you asked me. Right. <laughs> Welcome to my little manufacturing laboratory. <laughs> so this is your distillery, Michael, and this is well, Alan, yeah, your wife. This is a little part of it. We have to be careful. All secrets in here. <laughs> you don't want to give those away, that's oh, for sure. No, we can't give those away, no, no. But it's all, all these wonderful things, but there's all sorts of different experiments and flavours all here in front of you here. So you're constantly experimenting with new, um, new varieties? and Yes, we are. With 81 different products, I mean, there's a limit to what you can grow. Mm. So we do have a lot of growers locally, and we have um, growers in northern New South Wales, which is because, very close. Because this whole area, I mean, is a very uh, rich, fertile area and grows a Many wide variety of fruits right. and things, you're right. doesn't yeah. it? Mm. And, and not far away, uh, sugar cane grows profusely, and mm -hmm. it's a huge area. And, and we've now got this brilliant rum that we released only the a other... Rum. Yes, uh -huh. a, a Queensland rum. Um, yeah. Is that just a rum or is it flavoured with something else? No, it's just pure rum. rum. Mm. Yes, and, and we're very proud of that. I must get a bottle and show you the label right. you pony okay. on <laughs> Now i got this, this old friend of mine, he's a Dutchman. He's in his 80s and he's a cartoonist. I said, I said George, I want you to draw this house because I photographed. I went out in the car and photographed. And then I said, I want to have... 
uh, to the the, the sugar, sugar cane, cane in um, and I want the the Queensland sun mm -hmm. and the beautiful blue sky and the sandy yellow golden sandy beach right. all depicting the Queensland subtropical uh -huh. climate and I think that really works it's so different and uniquely Queensland I think and 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 another one that we've just another one that we're very very proud of is um, is wild forest plum ah is that the Davison it plum? is the Davison mm. plum and look it as you as you would know the the plums grow on the trunk of the tree which is not very on branches to a normal tree it is tree, isn't it? very mm. and it's it's like ab Aboriginal bush tucker mm -hmm. they they re and it's very very sour in mm. the raw but when you make a liqueur of it it's like sweet sour uh -huh. bartenders love it yeah. because it's a so good unique base for, for a cocktail. oh yeah. you're right you're sorry and uh. it's fantastic as an accompaniment to a cheese platter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's another one that we're really excited about and they were filming for five days we went to Sydney because we got accounts there and mm -hmm. it was all put on this ITV had the series, they called it Poms in Paradise. And it started in May. The first one was the second of May. We were on the we the, the first one was second of May. We were on the second episode, which was the eighteenth of May, and there were eight episodes. And we were on the seventh episode as well, which was in July. And there were thirty eight million viewers in that during that whole time. And so many of them have, well over a thousand that's a lot oh, have yeah. have come here since then where is he where is he and all this stuff photographs camera the whole thing and and they buy booze are you on holiday yes. Yes. Melbourne. We're from melbourne yeah. well we won't hold that again <laughs> It's better weather down there than here. Mate, you've been having all this incredible weather. 